to scribble all this down. Um, but the structure, basically, paragraph one is the uh, introduction, your initial ask. And when I talk about ask, what I mean is um, it's important when writing to elected officials that you focus on something that's relevant and timely and a specific kind of ask for them. Uh, too many times I would get letters into the office that say libraries are very important, they provide certain kinds of needs to the, they, they serve certain needs in the community, and I would, you know, on behalf of the congressman, write back and say something like, I agree that libraries are the beacon of democracy and they do wonderful things and thank you so much, um, but nothing really happened in that exchange because uh, no one asked me for anything specific. So the initial ask, will you co-sponsor this piece of legislation? Uh, will you support this particular appropriation, et cetera. We're going to go to the Legislative Action Center in just a moment so I can show you some of the specific policy items that uh, we're working on right now. Then the next, you've made your ask, why is it important? The personal story, and there's kind of two elements of why this is important. Again, your um, what you bring to the table in any advocacy correspondence is that personal story, that connection between what happens in Washington, D.C. and what happens at the very local level. And so if you're saying, for example, um, we need more funding for the LSTA program, if you're a, a public library, then you might want to um, say, you know, here's how it's important to our library, here's how we used it, here's how we used it in our region, here's how we used it in our state. Then some of the facts and figures on the national perspective are valuable. Um, they, they are valuable because they demonstrate that it's a nationwide issue, but they shouldn't be the only focus of the communication because, again, the legislator is most interested in knowing how it impacts the local community. And then paragraph four is really to reiterate the ask 